All right, a few more things under filter. Let's pull up palm tree on the beach. And there's some other interesting effects we can use. All right, zoom in a little. Ah, that's too much. Let's go to 150 percent. 145. All right. We can go to filter. Now, oh, first we have to change the mode to RGB. All right, filter. All right, we went through a lot of the artistic, the blur. Um, brush strokes, distort. Here's one that's interesting. Spherize. So how much do you want it spherized? Or we can go inward, like so. Whoa, strange, huh? Like the inside of a sphere. But if we do the other one, the um, your eyes but go outward so it's like a crystal balls in the picture something like that that's kind of crazy all right well, what else do we have in here that's interesting um, yeah removing the dust and the scratches it's somewhat helpful but um, you really lose a lot of the detail when you have it a filter on it like that we went through a lot of the pixelation effects. Lighting effects, there's an interesting one. Basically, you can choose spotlight, omnidirectional, and then it darkens, you see, the rest of the picture. Or the spotlight effect, which you can... Where's the... There we go. So you can narrow the spotlight or like so, see, create some interesting spotlight effects, exposure, the ambient light, see, or if you want it just very, um, That's very interesting, huh? Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, just like there's a spotlight only right there. Interesting. So you can pr provide a lot of, sorry, you can do a lot of different uh, lighting effects if you experiment with that. All right, that was under render. We have sharpen. You can sharpen the edges, use an unsharp mask. We've used that before. Sketch, we've used those. Stylize, the glowing effects we saw. Texturizing, we saw that. Interesting that we have a, a high pass filter. Um, basically, it's just allowing a certain range of colors to shine through. And you notice you lower the radius, it's allowing less and less color to go through. So, there's the high pass filter. And you're not going to really use a lot of those other ones. This is something you're going to use if you're taking photos and modifying them. Embedding a watermark. Um, you can personalize your watermark with an ID, pin. Um, do you want to put the copyright year, the image ID, the transaction ID? Um, you can choose restricted, do not copy, adult content. Um, and then your watermark durability. So those are some, uh, some ways to, to protect some of your images. And that's under filter, digimark, embed watermark. So there's something you're going to use.